welcome to another round of um, Google Cloud Innovators with Telco. I'm very lucky to have my friend and customer here, Vili Stegman from okay. Vodafone. And uh, let me introduce uh, Vili and allow him to uh, uh, kind of explain a few things on how we work together. Yes. Welcome, Vili. Thank you Thank so you much, much for my pleasure. spending some time with us. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to hear if I could just kick off by understanding a little bit about your role, but more yes. importantly, I'd love to hear about the Vodafone strategy and how we help work together yeah, yeah, to drive yeah. innovation. It's an Vodafone. important partnership. So Adil, as you know, I, uh, I'm part of the uh, Vodafone technology leadership team. I've been for the last six years. I uh, spent a number of years at Vodacom as a group CIO, and I'm now the CIO for corporate IT services. Um, and also, I look after, this is a privilege, uh, strategy and architecture uh, for Vodafone on the digital and IT side. So very challenging role that keeps you busy. Absolutely. Well, it's, it's, great to, it's great to understand and see that how your role has actually expanded because we worked, started to work together on the SAP program, yes, yes. the uh, SAP to, to the GCP, yeah. and now you're kind of covering so much more. Could you tell us a little bit about the Vodafone strategy in this yes. area? Yes. Um, about a year ago, we, we reflected deeply on our strategy, and I think the telco industry clearly is going through a lot of changes. It's a very challenging, dynamic environment, as you know, Dil. Um, our strategy priorities really focuses on three very distinct areas. The first one is customer is really get down to basics uh, in terms of serv servicing our customers, making sure that things like the tractors we understand, we drive, we've got strategies to eliminate those and really compete effectively. Secondly is around simplification. Vodafone is a big multinational organization. It operates across 22 markets. And so over 25, 30 years, you build in a lot of complexity. And complexity makes you slow and sluggish, not responsive. So it's really, really important for us to simplify the organization internally but also how we serve our customers. And then the third critical pillar is growth. We, we have, to, have to grow as a franchise. That's what our shareholders demand from us, right? Um, and our focus areas remains Europe, uh, across the African continent, where we have eight markets through Vodacom. And then also two other important pillars, which is our Vodafone business, our B2C, uh, and also our ventures business, that, that increasingly focus on leveraging our commercial shared operations through to other telcos, like we've done with uh, Vodafone Italy and, and Swisscom. So strategy is really around those three priority areas. Quite simple, but as you know, difficult and complex to execute. No, it's been wonderful, and it's been great to see that strategy develop, particularly around the simplification. We've been lucky enough to have the partnership for nearly five, five and a half yes. years now, and we've seen that relationship grow and, and uh, certainly uh, come to fruition in many areas. I'd love to understand a little bit about how data has helped you with your innovation. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think, to be honest with you, this is, um, in hindsight, it was absolutely the right decision six years ago to really tackle um, the importance of data across Vodafone. As you know, 22 markets, a lot of complexity, a lot of legacy, a lot of acquisitions. So data all over the place. So we decided to partner with yourselves, Google, um, to build a data ocean across, uh, across Vodafone. It's been a complex journey. Yeah. I think through ups and downs, it's not easy. This is really, really hard to achieve because you've got your monolithic systems, your systems of record, your CRM data is, is deeply embedded, right? And to free that up, move it to the cloud, make it accessible is really critical. The great news for us is I think we've been on that journey for a long time. Mm. We've learned a lot. So now that data and quality data, time use quality data is critical mm. for, for AI applications, I think we're in an excellent position to take those learnings, the foundational building blocks, and now through things like AI Booster, to really hit our emerging AI use cases very hard and very quickly. Yeah, it's fantastic to see how those programs have really uh, culminated with AI Booster. So yes. just to kind of refresh, we've had our Nucleus program, yes. our Neuron program, which is really around data warehouses and so yes. on and getting your data into the cloud yes. and how then we've used Vertex AI, which you call AI Booster, right. and you were our lead customer for this mm. program. So it's been fantastic to see that being yeah, implemented. Yeah. Uh, could you perhaps explain or share some information around how we're using Vertex AI, AI Booster yeah. to help with your recent hackathons yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and Jet AI? As you know, I'm very passionate about this. I've been involved with the hackathon from the, the first event that we had back in 2018 in Vodacom. Um, and we've, we've run that event annually now. Initially, it was just South Africa. Then we expanded to the eight Vodacom markets. And fantastic this year. In fact, it was last week. We had our finals, first finals for Vodafone across yeah. 22 markets in three categories. Guess what? Customer, simplicity, and growth, right? 
Um, and, and we encourage the teams, and by the way, these are self-forming teams that get together to solve real problems and to enable our strategy, which is fantastic. Self-forming with uh, business and technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's definitely, this is not a technology agenda. If you go into Vodacom with, uh, with, with Shamil Jusup, our CEO there, and the XCO, they own this. This is a very okay. important vehicle for them to drive culture, to drive innovation. Clearly, what we've seen the last year is the emergence of Gen AI opportunities to really serve our customers better, mm. to simplify the franchise, and to also help grow. And so a lot, of, a lot of the ideas through the Hack Olympics here have been built and leveraged using AI Booster um, that, that you've explained earlier. So it's really coming together very nicely. Foundation elements through Nucleus and Neuron, AI Booster on top of that, use innovation and the hackathon as a vehicle through which we can really innovate at scale and, and, and enable our strategy quickly. Ah, fantastic. So I think we've covered quite a large amount of, uh, uh, of, of the story there. I'd love to cover one last area. Yeah. So just to kind of think about how we've moved from your data partnership into this AI partnership, I'd love to understand a little bit about how you've now got, how you've now thought about the skills and cultural shifts yes, required yes, yes. to be an innovator yes. in this space and yeah. to leverage Gen AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's critical. My, my view is, is that the two fundamental capabilities that you need to have in place to really get benefit from Gen AI, quality data, well, actually time is quality data, and you need to train your workforce to really be able to use all of the tools. We inundated with tools, they will be, right? But how do they use them? So we've spent a huge amount of time um, over the last year to educate. We've got a core a group of about 1,400 people that we've trained on Gen AI technologies and capabilities, wow. many of that with your support and, uh, and, and partnership. And so they can really be the first movers for us. Uh, but we have to go beyond that. In fact, uh, we spoke earlier about what we need to do across the whole of Vodafone sure. Enterprise. Because all employees for internal needs as well as for servicing customers increasingly will rely on Gen AI to actually enable and support what they do. And so they need to be trained on that. It's not mm. going to happen by itself. Thank you. That's been another session of Google Cloud Innovations in Telco. And we will close it there. Great to see you. Speak soon.